Welcome to Intergeo TV GeoTalks 2019. Today we are talking about the future of surveyor's life with my three guests. Let's meet them. Craig Hill, Vice President of Leica Geosystems. James Van Rens, Senior Vice President of Regal. Tommy Van der Heyden, Founder of Maxac. So, welcome to all again. Thank you. Let's start with Craig. How do you explain that future of surveyor's life from your eyes? We know um, worldwide there's a, quite a shortage of surveyors. And um, surveyors with educational uh, background that have a university degree will continue, I think, to be the owners and the managers of the data and of, of the projects. But with the um, equipment becoming more and more easy to use, I think that it'll be often non-surveyors will be using surveying equipment to conduct surveying activities, but under the guidance of a professional surveyor. But I think that's where, the, where we're going in the future. And technology is going to help that development. What do you think, Tommy? Um, I would uh, agree with Regrec. Um, definitely the, the, the life of the surveyor as we see it now will change. Uh, I would say that the surveyor has become more and more responsible for a broader operation and he would have more help with people actually conducting the work in the field, collecting the points, collecting the data under the work of that surveyor with indeed easy tools um, and also well integrated to their GIS systems. They are already walking outdoors with digital maps. So why not add a pin to that map where they can just restructure the data in the field with one click of a button. And that way we make uh, the actual surveyor who is now overwhelmed with a lot of easy work more available for the hard stuff which he is really trained for to do and skilled for. So in the future we will be making more use of the real knowledge of the surveyor and what he's trained for, I think. So, right. James? Yes, thank you. Well, from my perspective, I think that surveyors are with the rest of us, right? So, uh, it's been a digital revolution in our personal lives. Uh, it's been a digital revolution within our, the technologies of all of our companies. And the surveyors really need to um, uh, deal with this as they are. Uh, but it's been, a, it's been a big transition. There's a shortage of surveyors, um, a, as Craig pointed out perfectly. And uh, it's necessary that they come into the modern age and really start to address things in a digital fashion uh, to meet the needs and the requirements of a, of a burgeoning world around them that needs them desperately. So, today we are in a high-speed technology revolution. So what's your plan to synchronize your company to the dynamic trends? So we can start. With um, one, of, one of the ways we're doing it is through our uh, open APIs. Uh, for UniCloud APIs, we are enabling basically any piece of software, any piece of hardware equipment which is connected to the, to the internet to communicate with our device with our data, making sure that you can actually use the location of our devices on basically every device you want. Uh, if you're smart enough, you could even synchronize it to your home, making sure that the lights go on when you're done surveying. Um, the key to that is open and to make sure that the surveyor or the, or the person using it, the company using it, is able to choose how they work and our equipment and our software needs to adapt to that to make sure we can uh, stay up to speed with, uh, with the trends in the market. Yeah. What about you? Craig? Yes, things are very dynamic and I think we're seeing the need for surveyors to do more with less. And I think that's one where we're bringing innovation to make our surveyors and our customers more productive. And I think one um, recent announcement we've made is the GS18T rover, a GPS rover where the surveyor doesn't no longer needs to hold the pole vertically above the point. He can hold it tilted and then measure that point much quicker and much easier and and their customers are telling us they're at least 20% um, more productive. So I think it's making surveyors be able to do more with less through innovative technologies. Yes, James. So <laughs> today's a, it's a brand new world and technology is transforming it constantly. Um, our sensors are part of the, uh, what's now known as that fabulous term, internet of things. So uh, our data, our sensors, all of this has to 
join into that web that's pulling information uh, in and getting it refreshed, uh, making it um, um, uh, timeless, so to speak. And uh, that Internet of Things with a, an open data source and crowdsourcing of information is, is critical uh, for all of us going forward to making sure that um, the data, the information, the assets, the highways, the byways, the seaways, the shores, the buildings, they're all relevant and uh, they're up to date. So, yes, uh, what we will see from your company next days, could you give us some secrets from Nika? We, we have <laughs> some new releases one, yeah. here at, the, at, this, at this show and one is uh, for theft detection of survey equipment and that is becoming unfortunately a problem um, that equipment is stolen even on site and now we have a new locate or a locate system that um, you can then track and then lock the system and then hand that information over to the police so that they can recover the equipment and bring it back to the rightful owner. Um, reducing downtime and also hopefully reducing uh, insurance premiums for our customers. Another release we have here is the City Mapper 2, which is bringing airborne um, mapping to really a new level of productivity, being again doing more with less. So, in terms of the future, um, Leica Geosystems and Hexagon Geospin Systems spend a lot of money in R&D and you can expect a lot more coming in the next months and weeks and years, so stay tuned. Good. Yes, Tommy. Um, we are uh, constantly working on bringing new stuff to, to our customers. Uh, we work with uh, automatic and free updates over the year. Um, the short future, we will see new features of our devices, for example, uh, indeed using the tilt sensor to augment the, the, the antenna to the right position on the ground so you can hold it at a tilt level. Uh, apart from that, uh, you can expect a lot of integrations. Uh, with the Open API, we've seen a lot of interest from a lot of GIS systems, BIM systems. So basically what you would see in the future is uh, people making use of software that has never seen surveying before, but holds the data and just basically amending the data, collecting data based on the real time position in the field. So I would say, I think that you see most of that coming from us in, the, in this period. And I think that's what the future needs. So, James? So, uh, lots of exciting times at Regal right now. Um, so, there's um, a brand new production facility being built in, in Horn. Um, late last year, we're, or excuse me, earlier this year, uh, we occupied a brand new production facility for our mobile systems. Um, we are uh, building a new um, support service uh, and, of course, office building in the United States and opening up a number of offices around the world. And all of that activity is being driven by the innovation that that Regal uh, has developed over the years. So in, in the area of LiDAR, they're very active. Uh, underway in construction right now in Horn is a calibration fielding that's world-class. It's laboratory level. It's, it's one of a kind, and it's the sort of thing that uh, Regal invests in to make sure that its, it's um, digital regime of LiDAR is uh, the latest, it's the greatest, it's the most precise, and it fills the needs and the requirements that our customers are looking for. And, and an example of that would be uh, the newly announced um, airborne uh, mapping system. It's four million hertz uh, coming from this system. The productivity is outstanding, and so for national mapping, country mapping, wide area mapping, that sort of thing, it's, it's just, uh, it's an astounding leap forward, so. Uh, and, and there's, of course, more to talk about, but that's an example. Thank you all again for that great conversation and to be part of Intergeo and Geotalks 19. So, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>